Governor Brewer, when she signed SB 1070, she brought on the civil rights movement for the 21st century. Last time we had a color that was profiled, it was black and the states were blue and gray. Now the color is brown, my color, and the states are blue and red. We're all in this. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And so we have to stand together. We don't have the choice to say, not my problem, I'm not an Arizona or I'm not an immigrant. This is an issue that transcends Hispanics. This is an issue, uh, it's a human issue, it's a human rights issue. I think I feel a certain particular sympathy, clearly. I think my grandparents were probably illegal immigrants. I never knew. Right in the UU congregation of Phoenix, there are dramatic immigration stories, and not just what you might imagine. Lori Rosales has lived in Arizona all her life and is a licensed social worker. She volunteers with groups that help border crossers who are lost or stranded. And I had never really experienced discrimination in the past, but even I, the way I speak, it's just knowing that I am Latina, I've been asked, so, uh, are you legal? Um, I, when I cross the borders, I have been treated very disrespectfully. When people don't realize it's not just about being legal. Illegal. To me, the bottom line is they don't like that the, the, the demographics are changing in this part of the country. So they're targeting any of us. They see us all as the enemy. Good morning. Lida Restropo is originally from Colombia. I'm a member of the congregation here and I'm chair of membership committee. She came here for graduate work and is an associate professor at Arizona State. Even with the mainstream life, she feels the pressure at work. It's, it's a tight balance of you being either the token minority that they call on for everything or the silent person that has no voice. And, and, and I feel it. Another family in the Phoenix Church knows about immigration enforcement firsthand. All this time growing up, everyone always told me, you know, just be quiet, don't say anything, and nothing will happen to you. Well, that doesn't work anymore. Something happened to me. My mom was taken away. In October 2009, I received a phone call from my husband frantically telling me that they were taking his mom away. They asked me to sit on the opposite couch as my mom, so they sat her away from me, and I had to sit somewhere else. And then they pretty much just told me that they were going to take her, and like she was going to get deported. And then, Sorry. and then I tried to sit with my mom because she was like crying because she was so scared. Cause she, I didn't even understand what they were saying. So I tried to sit next to her, and they didn't let me. I had to sit away from her. People should realize that laws like this are taking apart families, and not just you know families that have a son that's 24 years old. They're taking families apart. They have children that are one, two. They're young children that need their parents, that need that mother around to take care of them. Daniel and Geraldine's mother was taken to the border at 3 o'clock the next morning. Another member of the Phoenix Church has been outspoken on immigration laws. She opposes SB 1070 for safety concerns. I, I, I really feel my um, opposition to this bill has always been because what it does to the officer on the street is puts them in a more dangerous position. Um, it is never good to have a community in fear of law enforcement. This is also personal for Julie. She is a police widow. Um, on September 18th of 2007, my husband, who was a Phoenix police officer, uh, was shot and killed in the line of duty. And his murderer was a career felon who also happened to be in the country illegally. Um, if my husband's murderer would have been of Japanese descent, would that make me hate everybody who is Asian? Why? You can't take one person's actions and use that to characterize an entire group of people. We need to sit down at the table with those who are really truly willing to listen 
and understand. And this issue has a lot of shades of gray. It is very complex. And in order to come to a solution, we need to understand those different shades. One of the things that we hope to do, not just in our congregation, but in other Unitarian Universalist congregations and other congregations in the Phoenix area, is bring a conversation. Bring a conversation about what are the issues around immigration, hopefully educating people to deepen their understanding of the causes of this issue, the causes of migration, and then the real human stories that people are living with and the ways that laws are breaking families up. We want to bring that opportunity for conversation and education to other congregations. For more information, visit the Immigration Justice page on the UUA website.